Hi, this is Greg Lowe. This is another video on the STU Tool Series called Script Table as Unpivot. Many people find working with the Unpivot syntax, and I might add the Pivot syntax, in T-SQL as a little difficult. Now, to make that easier, we've created a tool here that can script an Unpivot statement, and in addition, it's able to script a view of the table in an unpivoted form. So anyway, so let's take a look. So what we input here is the database, the schema, and the table. If we're outputting a view, I will say this is the name of the view. In this case, I'm not outputting a view, and I don't want null columns included. This is just indent values for the script. So let's try this. And that will output a script. Let's take a look at it and choose Wide World Importers. All right, so what we've got here is then select order ID, attribute name and value. We've then processed from this subselect and notice here we've also processed dates and date time twos and so on appropriately. And then we unpivot all of those values out. And now in this case, it's we've scripted it for a particular order ID. It's actually taken the primary key columns and they're the ones that it's put in here and here as the unpivoted columns. So let's just declare an order. I think there's one there called eight. So let's just run that. And notice what it's done is it's given us our order ID eight and all of the columns have then become attributes with individual attribute values returned. So let's take another look at this. If we do this as a view instead, and so I can say, look, I want to uh, create a view in this case. And if I run this code again, what this will output is a view. Let's create that. And this is then create or alter view. This is the name of the view as the same thing. And so if we create that, that'll become a view on that table. And then we could just query that view. Uh, let's say top 100. And notice these are all the attributes and this is the entire table. So alternatively, we could say, look, just give me all the attributes where order ID uh, is 14 or something. And there's the attributes for order ID 14. So this made it really, really easy to create a view. Now, the other thing here, let me just drop this view while we're at it. The other thing that's worth a look is uh, where we have null values. And so you'll notice if I take, uh, let's actually take the previous one where we don't have that as a view script. And let's just create that as a query again. And we'll grab this query. And let's make that against the database. And I'll put a declaration for that order ID in up the top. Let's say order 14. Now, the trick with this is any values uh, that were null would not appear in here. And so let's have a look at the alternative here is I can say include null columns. Now, if I do that, now null columns are not normally unpivoted. And so what we have to do is we have to fudge it a little bit with a specific value. And so we say, look, column value is null when we're doing this. And so that particular value now can't be uh, distinguished from null, but I think that'll work fine for most people who would ever use this. So let's just pop that into the query now. And in this case, we've now got all our converting varchars and we've got null handling been added. And so if we run that instead, notice that this column wasn't in the list before and it's there now and that we've returned that as null. And so look, this is kind of an interesting tool and uh, I hope you find it useful. For more information on STU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at sqldownunder.com.
www.thinkdigital.com.